Hi, I'm Marvel. And I'm JC. And we watched Captain Marvel. Captain I mean, Marvel. You stole that name from us. But it's the name of our company. So therefore, we get copyright rights. I'm Batman. Now nah, we saw Shazam. Yeah. <laughs> AKA, used to be Captain Marvel, but, you know. One copyright the, issue, man. One of the infinity billion Captain Marvels that have existed in comic book history. <laughs> what was interesting, about, before we start getting into the synopsis, like, all throughout the movie, <laughs> they hit the... They constantly ca trying to come up with a name for him, and they're all really silly names like, like uh, Sparkle Fingers or Red Tor Red Cyclone. Red Cyclone actually is a reference to another uh, hero, Red Tornado. Mm. So that that was an Easter egg there. Yeah. Uh, it's just because he couldn't say his name because when he didn't want to transform back. Yeah, and he couldn't say his other name because it was copyrighted. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So, Captain, I can't say my name. Captain Copyright. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Captain, this video has been uh, blocked by YouTube. <laughs> Most likely. Uh. It actually starts with a different character as, as a little boy. Yeah, back in I, probably the, the late 70s or early 80s, I think. I think it was the 80s. Somehow, uh, well, the little boy ends up meeting the wizard. Yeah, basically, what what was going on is he was like uh, in the backseat of of his dad's car, and his, and his brother, his, his older brother, is in uh, driving shotgun, and they're being real jerks to him, like just like hmm. you know, like he's got this magic eight ball, and he's like shaking, and like uh, so the the brother grabs him, and like is is my little brother ever going to become a man? And like ooh, does Out it look good? Outcome to. And the father somehow doesn't age, or barely ages in the movie. We'll get to more of that. But, uh, like soon. he, had, yeah, his dad is a dick as well because he tells him yeah. no man should cry to other people. No man should play with toys, yeah. even though the guy's like five years old. Like yeah. let him play with fucking toys. He's five parents, years old. They're going to like their uh, the kid's grandfather's house. In, no toys at grand in grandfather's in like upstate New York at Christmas time. Yeah. And, this whole movie is centered around Christmas, basically. It's an accidental Christmas movie. So, like, Die Hard and Batman Returns. <laughs> sure. <something like> that. <laughs> but he gets teleported to the wizard, and the wizard deems him not worthy. His soul impure. Cause the... Because he can't lift me all near. I mean, wait, wrong franchise. Uh, no, yeah. <laughs> because he was tempted by, by the... The, uh... Uh, the spirits of the seven deadly sins, who are stuck in this orb... That they wanted him to grab. Which is uh, an interesting thing I want to uh, bring up about the DC Universe. Like, in the Mar Marvel Universe kind of has a lot of this too, but DC especially, uh, that Linkara mentions a lot, all religions are true <laughs> in the DC Universe, all of them. So, they have the seven deadly sins from, from Catholicism, but Shazam's powers come from the Greek gods. And there's also the... The Norse gods exist, in a way. Yeah, but they don't get as much screen time because yeah. Marvel kind of, you know... Turn them into their own superheroes. Yeah, specifically, especially Thor. Yeah. <laughs> but not complaining. There's a bug on the wall. Oh, great. <laughs> it's a cell bug, it won't bother us. Yeah. <laughs> but So he returns to the car, completely confused and obsessed with the room where... And his father and brother... Look at him like he's paranoid, because he's saying random stuff. Like, I was there, I saw this was here, blah, 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 blah. So they end up... Uh, getting into a... a almost, getting into a, almost getting into a car accident. And then they the gave father us just berates him, saying it's it's his fault. And then a just truck runs into them. Yeah. Like, the truck could have easily avoided them and seen them, but it just friggin' T-boned him. Well, this is a comic book movie, and remember, in a certain other comic book movie, uh... A certain uh, very important character drove off a fucking cliff, did like 12 flips, and yeah. all that happened to him was his hands were crippled. Yeah. <laughs> it's comic book movies. That I didn't stuff say, happens. Yeah, I didn't say anything about about them getting hurt. I just said they team bowed him for no reason other than it was supposed to happen. Like the truck could have avoided them. It was uh, late. It was dark and snowy, so guy could have been driving drunk. There are many explanations for why that would happen. He drove too straight to be drunk. 
regardless, they got nobody. It was also icy conditions. Yeah. That's why they spun out when he had to, so the truck probably couldn't stop. So regardless, it still makes more sense than if they had like drove right off a cliff, flipped twelve fucking times, and all that happened was, oh, my hands don't work anymore. <laughs> You guys stay true to the backstory at some point. I guess. Yeah, but anyway. whether it makes sense or not, but like his what 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 I what I really expected was that the the father would be like dead like instantly, mm. but nope. we learn later no he, he just survived he he was just crippled. Yeah, he just couldn't use his legs. Yeah, so and he then got it, Charles Xavier. Yeah, <laughs> and then it cut to modern day in Philadelphia where the whole rest of the movie takes place. In West Philadelphia, born and raised. I'm not going to do the rest of that song. Yeah. <laughs> we oh. were forced to watch the trailer for uh, the live-action Aladdin. And, uh, On the throne where I spent most of my days. <laughs> uh, anyway, not talking about that. <laughs> Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, go watch it. Don't go watch the live-action Aladdin. <laughs> I might, honestly. It's well, if you do, then maybe I'll go with you just so I can riff on it. Unless it's good, in which case I will be very surprised, but yeah. th this movie. I, I mean, people have only complained about the genie so far. I haven't seen much complaints about the rest of it. Aside from the fact that there, that it's just another unnecessary live-action reboot of a Disney movie. Mm. But Even if it's good, it's still yeah. unnecessary. But now we cut to our main character, Billy Batson, who's run away from another foster home. Or I forget exactly what he was doing at the start. Oh, well, he was, um... Oh, no, he he called the cops... On, 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 a uh, on us... Robbers. Yeah, on a pawn shop. And then he said, oh, they're, oh, they're, they're, they're in there, they're in there, go look in there. Like, the stupidest cops ever. <laughs> they just believe him, like, you know. And then he closes the door to the pawn shop on them, so he can use their computer to identify a license plate to find a, a woman who could be his mother and he also steals the cops lunch <laughs> because it's uh, because they established Billy is not a good person right away and they also established that those cops are idiots <laughs> yes so B Billy ends up going to this house trying thinking this person's his mother when it turns out it's I, a big black lady and she's like you sure about that <laughs> it's like I'm sorry <laughs> I'm sorry I wasted your time to walk away. Yeah. Uh, that plot point will be picked up again later. Yes. Thankfully. But, but yeah, that, then he gets uh, um, sent to a new group home uh, that like has like six uh, other kids. And... Um, no, I think it's four. No, it's six. The, 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 uh, a disabled kid with cancer. Uh, no, well, he, wasn't, he didn't, okay. didn't actually have cancer. That was He was joking. Oh yeah, sorry. He was just, he, he just ha needs a king. Yeah. Uh, a fat uh, Latin, uh, Hispanic, like, I don't know. Don't South try American. to guess his... I'm just going to say South American, maybe. Who cares? <laughs> a low, a low black girl. Yeah. And, 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 a, and a teenager. And, an, and there's an Asian kid, too. Oh, yeah. So the video game of sex. Oh, cool. and there was a, 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 like, a girl who looked like in her early 20s. That's literally, I said teenager. That's what I meant by her. She's supposed to be, well, she's supposed to be going off to college. So yeah. she's still high school, so she's still young adult. But that makes five, including Billy is six. There, sh there were, there had to have been seven. No, there weren't seven. The young kid, the little black girl, the fat guy, Billy, and the, uh, the adult, and the 20-year-old. We'll get to why it had to be seven. No, there were only f there were only six thrones. superheroes. Seven thrones. That yet they didn't make seven superheroes. We'll they didn't fill all of them. We'll Google it later. But anyway, or you can do it now while I start talking about the plot again, because <laughs> we us at our tangents. We spend more time not talking about a movie we're reviewing than we do talking about the damn movie. Anyway, um, so yeah, he gets sent to this this group home. The 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 kid with the cane thing instantly, you know, uh, is the one who connects with them the most, just like in the trailers. You saw that in the trailers. Um, <coughs> they go to school and. 
of course we get two very, you know, generic bullies that own a truck and obviously they instantly start picking on the uh, the, the kid with the, the, the walking stick uh, because bullies. Uh, so, <clears throat> even though Billy was, um, he was originally, uh, his plan was to run off again, but he looked back and saw that, you know, the bullies were being the crap out of the disabled kid because, you know, so he decided to get their attention and, uh, you know, have them uh, chase him all around the city until he got into a subway. Wait, I missed something. Before that, we get a scene of, um... We had to go back to the kid from the beginning. Yeah, who's now grown up and, and played by the guy who played Merlin in Kingsman. Yeah. <laughs> Took us a long time to figure that out. Mark Strong. Yeah. And he's now... He goes back, he's like, he's obsessed. Yeah, he's like Dr. something, Dr. Savannah. Yeah, and he's, yeah. And he's, he's interviewing he's, people he's, yeah, he who had the exact same experience. He started, uh, he started running this, uh, this psychiatry, uh, psychology, um, uh, com yeah, uh, with this other woman. And then to try to, you know, as a shell to try to, to gain information on, yeah. on this code that he needs to re-enter the, um, that realm. That and he realizes it's, that it's a certain, the symbols, you have to repeat them seven times up all the way down yeah. to unlock the door, and in the process, it Thanos, the chick he was, that was working with him. Yeah, uh, it was worse than Thanos. <laughs> yeah, she, she disintegrated painfully. Yeah. <laughs> they did that a couple of times with somebody doing that kind of face right into the camera. Yeah. It was like, that, 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 that wasn't Thanos, that was frickin' Indiana Jones. <laughs> My face is melting! Yeah. <laughs> but yeah. he ends up going back, and this time, he, he, he steals the orb, and the, the, that, the shoves orb it in That contains the powers of the... the Seven the, Deadly Sins. Yeah, the demons. Shoves it in his eye. Yeah. So he could see properly, I guess. I guess he could see properly as a result of that. Somehow it fixed his vision because he didn't need glasses afterwards until he until it got taken out of his eye. It's a common superhero supervillain trope. Uh, you know, you get superpowers, you don't need glasses anymore. Yeah. Superman doesn't need glasses. He wears them as his secret identity, which is silly, but yes. <laughs> so then he he go uh, oh uh, the wizard says find somebody worthy no matter how long it takes. Yeah. I think you said that after the boy left. Yeah. So, so not as in a man, but earlier in the f yeah. in the first scene. Yeah. But then uh Yeah, that that, that then uh, we uh now back to the what I was talking about with the uh the subway. Um Yeah, uh Billy gets uh, after it, like the subway gets transported into the 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 frost zone. Where everything gets really the the thing, everything that goes into that place free frosts up, even though the uh, the place itself isn't cold. It's just it's weird. The wizard can't afford to keep the heat on, <laughs> and Billy ends up being having being the chosen one. The chosen one. Yeah, you are the chosen one. You were meant to destroy the. And anyway, <laughs> the seven deadly sins. I am the high ground. <laughs> And he ends up transforming into Zachary Levi being a superhero. Yeah, and then a lot of the, the, the movie from this point forward is just him and it, and his and his uh, buddy with the walking stick. Uh, Freddy. T yeah, yeah, it's like not not the the here comes Freddy that you're thinking of, but you know. I'm not thinking of that. <laughs> the first thing that I thought of was Freddy got fingered. Ugh, that's even worse. <laughs> I know. Ugh, no. <laughs> <laughs> but so he's just messing around being being a teenager with superpowers. Yeah, like half of it is they're they're you know recording on a camera say, to, uh, checking off a checklist of what superpowers he has. The other half of it is him 
doing things only an adult could that he wouldn't be able to get away with as a kid, like buying beer, trying to buy a house, or a, a lair as they called it. Going or, into a strip club. Yeah. <laughs> um, uh, getting, uh, you know, do, putting on fancy shows and getting money for it. <laughs> Charging people cell phones with magical electricity. And then one of them explodes. <laughs> Uh, sh uh, shooting lightning uh, so recklessly that it uh, bursts the tire of a bus and he has to go save the bus. <laughs> yeah. And he says, ooh, I'm a hero, I saved the bus! But, you know, the, uh, the, the, the other kid said, no, yeah, but you were the one who made it crash in the first yeah. place. Yeah, and him and Freddy constantly get out of school using, <laughs> using the powers. Yeah, like, like one scene where, like, uh, the... The security guard, like, where's your hall pass? Uh, uh, oh, like, we're just... oh, we're, uh, our dad's just around the corner. Uh, he gave us permission. Uh, and he's like, he's like oh, shut up. No. Oh, hi, I'm, I'm this, th this kid's and that other kid who I, just I, passed that down that hallway is dad. And, I just, uh, I got caught up at the business office. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, oh, thank you, thank you so much. Uh, sorry, uh, moron. <laughs> he's like, the name's Moran. <laughs> but we also have to add more development with the with the villain who went to his boss his dad's company yeah. and decides to unleash his seven deadly sins on everyone who worked there. Yeah. Being like, even giving his brother, who was apparently a board member, giving him the eight ball going, Oh, shake it to see if you can kick me out of this office. Shake it to see if you're a man enough to kick me out of this office. Okay, then you're Spoiler, not. Spoiler, you're, you're not. And then chucked him out, <laughs> chucked him out a window. Had one of the seven deadly sins eat a eat a guy's head, Venom style. Yeah. I think actually they, it seemed kind of like a, an homage to Venom because it was the one with the big long tongue who did it. Yeah. So they're very Venom. <laughs> and then he he berates his father for the, for. His father not having true power, and, you know, and and you know, being like, like, oh, you bullied me as a kid. You don't have true power. Yeah, and you think you think owning all this uh, is your power. Hmm, I wonder what your sin is. Greed, <laughs> greed. You can have him as he walks out, and greed kills him. Yeah. <laughs> it's like yeah, big business does run does have power these days. Different kind of power than super villain yes. power. It, the you know biz, uh, you know money doesn't mean anything if you have superpowers you know that that uh, TV tropes thing uh, screw the rules I have superpowers yeah <laughs> so then he ends up uh, finding Billy and the whole rest of it is basically one long fight yeah scene. where 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 Billy uh, at first said oh you're a supervillain I'm just gonna beat oh Boom. crap I can't beat you you're 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 just as strong as me I I'm gonna run away. <laughs> But then, of course, the villain uh, determines Billy's true identity because of their stupid videos they were recording. Mm -hmm. Which made them way more popular than us on YouTube. Yeah. <laughs> so they, mm. But yeah, um... No wonder MV was the one he kept holding. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, the, uh, the, the, uh, the sidekick kid, the, the... Freddy. Yeah. He, uh... He just happened to be there asking, Billy, where are you? Where are you, Billy? In the mall, as on the screen, it's it shows showing news coverage of him, of, of him talking to freaking, like... Shazam. So it was like... And we spent, like, a solid, like, 20, 30 seconds of the villain just going back and forth, and, like, it oh. took you that long to figure it out? Really? <laughs> uh, hmm, 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 hmm. I mean, it even took... Hmm. Billy's adopted siblings less time to figure out who he was. And and then he not only that, he um he didn't immediately figure it out. He had to interrogate Freddy to find out. <laughs> and Freddy's like, I'm oh, like, uh, super well, you're not gonna read my mind. He's like, I don't need to read your mind because you're going to tell me. <laughs> like generic, you know. <laughs> he wasn't even that over the top. You it was much less, you're, you're going to tell me. No, 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 it was like, because you're going to tell me. Like, so, like, you were too monotone <laughs> there. He wasn't, he wasn't that. He, he, play, he was, he was, he did the role well. Yeah. There's also a lot of trope subversion in this movie. <laughs> like, um, 
in a, in, a, in a later uh, fight scene between the two is like uh, they're they're like like uh, in in the air like in uh, oh, among yeah. skyscrapers they're like really far away from each other the, the, the villain's like uh, model evil monologuing and and ca ca <laughs> Billy's like, like I can't, what, hear I can't hear what, what are you are you monologuing are you like evil villain speech I, I can't hear you there's what? trucks and wind and stuff <laughs> <laughs> all I see is this is all I see. Like, oh. like, ah, screw it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And there was a scene earlier where they he crash landed in his sister's room. Yeah, and, <laughs> and he couldn't. He was like trying to figure out, like trying to get her to stop. He's like putting your mouth over her mouth to make Put your, your hand over her mouth to not make her scream. Doesn't make this look very good. <laughs> He's like he, find, he by accident figures out the code word to transform back. He's like, oh, I, I met this wizard named Shazam. <laughs> yeah. It's like nobody ever, nobody, nobody else in the movie sees. Hey, you just transformed from that superhero. Well, that's because um, it every time he does that, it creates a big like smoke cloud that mm. and a big flash. It stuns everyone. They're they're like disoriented for a few seconds. So they, and he always does it either when he's alone. You know, with where nobody is around, or when there's such a big crowd that nobody would be able to tell. You know that it, it he just is able to slip away, and he has a uh, because of uh, his childhood, he has a lot of experience slipping away unnoticed. Yeah. So, but one thing that I do like is is how he makes use of this particular part of his power. You know, all other uh, superheroes, like maybe with the exception of Iron Man. Their, their costume change is sort of like just a thing that they have to do in order to, you know, you know f go fight crime. Kind of superficial. Yeah. And, some, and in some cases it can be a hindrance. <laughs> you know, ah, change into a costume. Ah. Get but, angry, yeah. get angry. Yeah. But, uh, Come out, you big green idiot. Yeah. But, uh, but in, in Shazam's case, it's useful because it drops a bolt of lightning down every time he does it, so he can use that as an attack. Yeah. And he can use it if he's in a sticky situation and needs to escape. Yeah, so basically it's it's quite useful. It's basically, you know, the, the only other superhero I can think of who makes use of their suit up and 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 suit out, uh, you know, transitions is Iron Man. Because he can use that, you know, to uh, to attack his enemies too, but in a different way, obviously. Yeah. So then, freaking, the bad guy goes to Billy's house after, like... Yeah, the foster home. Because yeah. there's a scene where his foster parents chewed him out for disappearing. Well, rightfully so. Yeah. <laughs> they're, they're still portrayed as very nice people, but they said, Okay, you crossed a line here. <laughs> and you... You skipped class, and you have... You helped... You, ha you brought Freddy in with you... In, okay. You you know you you really screwed up. I'm sorry, but like gr you need to grow up. I'm sorry. Basically, yeah, they're they're not the typical stereotypical you know like angry mean uh, you know foster parents or the overly stereotypical uh, too under too kind to oblivious. They're more realistic. They're realistic nice people. Even the nicest people will have. Their limits on yeah. you know, and because they have you have crossed a line. Yeah, because they have experience as well being foster kids themselves. Yeah, so like they can, they can understand a little what he's going through. Basically, and even like after their their like their talk, they walk out and say, "Give him space. He's yeah. he's going through some tough stuff." But the, but they, of course they that's do not because they know what he's going. Yeah, through. they figured it out. Yeah. <laughs> and they tell they they tell him where his proper mother is, and that his father has been in jail in Florida for ten years. <laughs> yeah, so, so, while he goes to, like, like, just happens to be two subway bus <laughs> stops away because convenience, yes. but, uh, and goes to see his original mother, that's when the villain decides to show up. Yes. <laughs> but yeah, he has, he finds his real mother, he and has, it, they have a talk, and, and it turns out she saw him after he after he ran after his little uh, amusement park gift, the little yeah, it was a little compass. Yeah, a little compass. She saw him and she decided she wasn't ready to be a mother, 
So she left him there. Yeah, and and remember when when we earlier when we when we were talking about um you know uh uh fifteen year olds that look like they're thirty. Uh, <laughs> this is another instance. The uh, we would not have guessed this in the beginning when when we saw the flat the 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 scene of like uh, Billy Batson as a kid and the the mother. She barely aged in like she looked thir she looked forty. Back then, and she was supposed to be 17? <laughs> she had wrinkles! Mm. What the hell? She, she, she barely aged through... She looked younger <laughs> in, the, in the present time scene! Well, it's like the same thing where the bad guy's father barely looked like he aged in between... Uh, aside from he had more gray hair, yeah. but at least they did something! They, they couldn't just CGI if they... Or they, like... She wasn't... They didn't sh show much of her, the young, they could have CGI'd that! She looked 40! Mm -hmm. Anyway. But she has all, she also has a boyfriend in the room, in the back room. Who sounds like, you know, probably, okay. is probably abusive. Yeah. <laughs> it's why she was like saying, uh, nobody, it's nobody, uh, like, don't, don't go in there. Yeah. <laughs> you don't want to meet him. No. <laughs> so Billy decides to go back to his real family, and he gives her the compass, saying, Maybe you'll need it more than I will. And that I imagine point, that's that's probably going to be set up in a sequel where she becomes a more prominent uh, uh, character, more maybe. prominent in his life. Maybe. Maybe she gets a, a an arc where you know she finally gets her life together. Maybe. But at that point, the villain calls Billy through Freddy's phone and tells him to come home, Billy. I really is amusing to the they play. Welcome to prime time, bitch. They they played. Billy's mom has got it going on when in the scene where he's talking to his mother, like at some point in that scenario. It's just like that's a bit too on the nose for songs. Yeah. Um But then they have another fight where he tries to get the whole his whole goal, is, Dr. Savannah, is to get Billy's power from him. Yeah, so that he so will he, no longer be a threat. Yeah. And rule the world because yeah. bad guy. Yeah, but he didn't seem to Consider that there are other superheroes out there, like the Justice League, that still would have been able to beat him, even if Captain... I mean, Shazam <laughs> didn't. <laughs> Captain but, copyrighted. Yeah. <laughs> but then they go to the, uh, the... The Rock of Eternity, I believe it, what its name was, the yeah. place where Shazam got uh, his... Where all magic originates, yes. because, you know... Or at least their you know, magic. Yeah, and then... And then, and then, uh, uh, all, but, all but his... they didn't, they, they didn't bother to close the door, so, like, uh, all the other c kids come in, and, uh, one of them throws a battering at the back of the villain's head, and it actually scratches him. Yeah. And that's how they figure out, when, when all the demons are out of his body, he's just an old man. Yeah. He can be hurt. And, like, you can't, you can only hurt magic with other magic, basically, in this. Like, you only can hurt somebody who's using magic with magic. And you can also hurt Superman with magic, but maybe that'll be addressed in a, in a future movie. Yeah. So then they, they end up leaving there because Billy, or Shazam, also has the ability to teleport to anywhere he thinks of. And they teleport back to the strip club. <laughs> with under eight, with a low under eight. No, we, we, need, we need to, uh, we need to, uh, uh oh, he, sta he stabbed Dr. Savannah in the back with the battering and then yeah. left. And he's like, I'm so glad I didn't sell that. <laughs> but, um, no. Oh, but yeah, that's a callback to earlier when he first transformed and was trying to show he's not, he, that he is Billy. He takes out the bullet that hit Superman that Freddy had kept. Yeah, and then, but he accidentally drops it. But, but it's okay because then, like, just a few minutes later, during the, the obligatory um, stop, uh, a couple of thugs from robbing a convenience store scene. Um, he gets shot a bunch of times. Yeah, it's like, uh, oh, I'm bulletproof. Uh, like, and then the kid shoot like, me in the face. Yeah, like, wait, is it just a shoot or you act, or is, is your... it just a costume or, <laughs> or are you just shoot him in the face? Yeah, shoot me in the face. <laughs> shoot me in the face. Shoot me in the face. <laughs> what? What? Those those things were so stupid though because they're willing to do it. No, not just that, but they when they realize that this guy's a superhero, they're like, why are you in there? Like, okay. <laughs> what? Take a hostage. 
They could have done that. They still had plenty of bullets. Why did they waste them all on the guy they knew was bulletproof? There were two hostages they could have took. Dumbest thugs ever. <laughs> But yeah, get basically. arrested by the dumbest cops ever, even though they don't actually get <laughs> arrested in the movie. They just get thrown through the window while wrapped in Christmas lights. Uh, better than uh, becoming uh, uh, armless, uh, legless, faceless uh, turds in the wind. <laughs> but then we have a whole... The last chunk of the movie is another fight scene where they're in yeah. an amusement park. Because another, you know, trope of... of Superhero movies, fight scenes, and amusement parks. That and Billy got Billy got abandoned at an amusement park. Mm. So it's kind of thematic. Kinda, yeah, thematic. But then, because the staff that they have is how they transfer the powers. So eventually, Billy realizes he well, can transfer the powers into his. Siblings. Yeah, like, like like the whole movie basically. Uh, the villain has the staff, but. But but in order for the villain to get uh, Shazam's powers, he needs him to grab onto the staff and say Shazam while he's holding the staff. But then that makes him figure out, wait a minute. I can... Punches him, takes the staff. All right, everyone. He transfers it to his five siblings. Who you said were spoiler spoiled by the Funko Yeah, Pops. they released pop vinyls of each of the characters in Shazam-type clothing with their associated yeah. colors. <laughs> Go, go, Power Shazam Rangers. <laughs> That's basically what they look like. They look like Power Rangers, yeah. <laughs> just without the helmets. <laughs> and then they have a fight scene with the Seven Deadly Sins, where they're testing out their powers, the, re yeah. the rest of them, and Shazam fights uh, and, and they're, and they're also again. And they're also, uh, the, the others are also saving civilians, including the two bullies who were mm. stuck up on a Ferris wheel. Ferris wheel. And then Shazam eventually coaxes uh, the last sin, Envy, out by making f basically making fun of it. Yeah. And then they end up winning when he rips the demon eye out of Savannah. Yeah, which I was surprised that after that his eye ended up being intact. The scar around his eye stayed, but his eye was still perfectly fine. Why? What? Whatever. It, I think it was this eye. Yeah, yeah. No. I think it was the right, yeah. Oh, I'm mirror, uh, thinking in mirror. Yeah. <laughs> but, yeah. So then they, because they, throughout the movie, the, the, their, them as a family had a, basically, prayer Probably. for dinner. Yeah, but it wasn't like a, a really cheesy Christian uh, like prayer. A, they, just they, thank you for this meal, thank you for this day. And and, and and each time they would actually kind of do a funny little joke like uh, the father was like, even though these aren't T-bone fillets. <laughs> and then the second time is, uh, even though uh, Billy is uh, tapped out or something. Even Billy's hands or something. Yeah. So so they were kind of they were very you know, it wasn't a very it was it wasn't a typical kind of Christiany yeah. prayer. Is they're they're having fun with it. Yeah. And at which the end, I like. And at the, at the very last scene. Before the mid credit scene, Billy starts it. Yeah, so it makes me wonder. Maybe that it wasn't even for religious uh, pur purposes. It was more for uh, you know family building purposes. Yeah. Because there was really no religion mentioned in it. No. There was no. They didn't say God or Jesus or anything. There was just. It wasn't even really so much a prayer. It was more. It was more like a family gathering kind of. Uh, you know. Silly it, little... It, it's how they bond. Yeah, it, so... Because they're all different backgrounds and all... Yeah, so I'm guessing it wasn't it wasn't for religious purposes. No. It wasn't a, an actual prayer. They didn't even call it that. No. Oh, in the second one, they're all talking about Shazam. And... Because at that point, Freddy in the... At that point, like... I'm, I'm not saying halfway, but somewhere around there, Billy and Freddy have a falling out because of their different opinions because on the trope, powers. Because trope. Because, you know, great power equals great responsibility, but he's not responsible enough yet. He's just... All he's, the power went to his head. Yeah. And he thinks Freddy wants the power for himself. And, although Freddy admittedly he does, because he'd rather... But be, he gets it. Yeah. They all do. Because <laughs> he'd, sure he'd rather not use a cane. Because like, nobody, nobody... As he says, nobody looks at him. Nobody wants to talk to him. 
and yeah, they, uh, they that pays off. Yeah. <laughs> I like that how that paid off in the end. This is a very like family directed film. Like it, the both like the main character and like the main protagonist are basically different aspects of how your family affects you. Yeah. So like the the guy grew up evil because his family hated him, and in turn he hated them. <clears throat> so he grew up wanting power and revenge and revenge where Billy grew up being similarly but he found people who did love him and was able to realize because you see him like the scene with him going to his his dad's his company oh, that, yeah. that that wasn't part of his he didn't need to do that for his ultimate goal no. that was just he wanted and he just wanted to revenge. get his revenge out of the way first and yeah. then you know take over the world yeah. And Billy, well, he had he was searching for family. He found it in a different way than he anticipated. I also like the symbolism with you know, like first of all, with him, uh, you know, like what's your sin? Oh, it's greed, and he has greed uh, uh, eat his dad. dad. And then his sin, his envy. Yeah, big, that, very obviously because you know, envy was the one that always that didn't come out to fight. It was always the one that stayed inside him. And it was very obvious he was envious of both Billy for having people who cared about him and for his, his powers. He wanted his powers. It was yeah. like, you know. So that, that uh, yeah. Hmm. And there, so that's basically where the movie ends. But I was kind of disappointed that, that he didn't go full, you know, seven and like, you know, uh, go to every single person in his life who he hated and 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 give them a, a sin to eat them. <laughs> I think he hated his father and brother more than anyone, so that's... Yeah, I know, but I'm just, they They chose to focus on that. I'm just disappointed that they didn't, you know, go the seven route and just have a little montage of him. You know, all throughout the movie, he comes across someone else he uh, hates uh, and then uh, figures out, oh, you're lust, oh, you're gluttony, oh, you're, you know, like... Yeah. But again, that that's that's seven, not. <laughs> yeah. And there are also funny. There's also funny satire in the movie. Like they they made quite a few attempts to mock themselves by like having Superman and Batman action figures with Shazam throwing the Batman figures at. Yeah, like, like yeah, in uh, in like a, a shopping mall, like like. Uh, uh, has help me, Batman. Like, uh, it's the, the it's big action figure that I'm Batman. <laughs> so that, like, uh. like, they constantly made fun of superhero tropes. Even in the end credit scene, uh, like, uh, like uh, uh, he's like trying to talk to a fish. Like, you know, you'll find someone some someday. You know, just give there are a lot of fish because, in the sea. It's like, yeah, no, I don't, yeah. I don't, I don't have the power to talk to fish. But who would want that? That's like the lamest power ever. Because Freddy's then, wearing an Aquaman T-shirt, and he's like, oh, I don't know, a control over the entire ocean. The fact that uh, the ocean makes up most of the planet. He's like, yeah, but that's lame. <laughs> <laughs> now, now I want to see like, uh, like him actually meeting like uh, Aquaman in 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 like the next Justice League movie, and is like, oh, um. Hmm. Awkward. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And even in like the end, the end, basically the end credits, the drawing ones, he ste he he steals it was the Batmobile. He steals the Batmobile, and the and Batman grapples onto it, but he's going so fast he pulls him along, yeah. and he pulls up to Wonder, Wonder Woman, Woman and bites her to prom. Which of course she immediately says yes. Oh, and not only that, but even before the credit, right up to the end of the credits, like. It was a, like there was a scene earlier in the movie where um, Freddy uh, wanted uh, Shazam to show up as Shazam to the school to say, "Hey, you know, I'm friends with a superhero," but he didn't. And then, you know, uh, Freddy was upset about that. That was what mostly caused the the falling out. But at the very end, they He's they paid it off by having both him Shazam actually do it. And, and then, oh, hey, uh, I invited someone else too. It's Superman. It's Superman. <laughs> It's a headless Superman. Well, yeah, they they just they like they didn't show his face because you know, no more Henry Cavill. Yeah. <laughs> Henry Cavill said, uh, "Fuck this shit, I'm out." <laughs> and they also had a scene, the mid credit scene, where they put the the, the demon the, orb back in its place, and then we're like, you know what we have? A lair. 
And that wasn't an end credit. That wasn't the mid credit scene. The mid credit scene was the uh, the oh, villain right. yeah. who no longer had powers. He was drawing all the uh, the symbols on the on his prison wall, trying to cover the entire every single inch of the wall with them. But he runs out of like whatever chalk he's right. using. Okay. He's like, no, I'm out of chalk. Uh. <laughs> but then there's like he oh, hears this this voice like you. You scribble on the walls like a caveman, thinking this is the only way to gain magic. There are other ways. I will show you. And then it cuts to this this CGI caterpill caterpillar with like a little device on it that allows it to, it to talk, yeah. which is also um, Chekhov's gun in uh, the beginning of the movie. When in the first scene, when the when the bad guy like as a kid uh, gets sent to that uh, the magic rock place, whatever. Um, it focuses. It zooms in, uh, in on this little caterpillar thing in a in a in a glass case. But the 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 second time we see that uh, when Billy shows up, but it's broken and the cat and it it escaped. Yeah. So probably in the next movie. Yeah. And he also mentioned the seven realms, whatever that yeah. is. Yeah. Whatever that. That's another thing we I need to mention. There's a room that's like. You know, like a whole bunch of doors, kind of like in Monsters Inc. I, I, I imagine a lot of those were Easter eggs. There's one one door led to like uh, this this family of, of crocodile people. <laughs> one of them was like this this thing. I swear, came, must have came out of like Prometheus. <laughs> H.R. Geiger. Yeah, and uh, another one was just like a scream or something. Well, like wind, like yeah, yeah, like okay, nobody open any more doors. <laughs> I'm just gonna teleport us back to where the first place I think of. But I, I, I wonder, like, we're gonna have to Google this. I'm sure those were all Easter eggs, as well as that caterpillar thing. We're gonna have to Google what the hell that thing is, because clearly it's important for the sequel. Yeah, but, but at least it wasn't, you know, wearing a big Ronald McDonald wig and saying, "There's gonna be carnage." Yeah. Uh, but, so we're, I'm referencing Venom so much. So that's at least back-to-back -back good movies for DC. Yeah, Aquaman and this, and, yeah. and then they had Wonder Woman, and, and Justice League was okay. Some people like it, some people don't like yeah, it. Yeah, we like it. And we have yet to see a Flash movie come out. Whether they're still making it, we have no idea, because they haven't heard anything yeah. about it. But, um... Yeah, so um, go see Captain. Mar I mean, I mean Captain. Mar I mean Captain. Mar I will get see that too because uh, that movie is also good. But yes, see, and has grossed over a billion dollars at box office. So has it surpassed Black Panther already? Probably. <laughs> okay, <laughs> but yeah, <laughs> uh, see that and this. <laughs> See, both Captain Marvels, I mean, uh, uh, Captain Marvel and, uh, what used to be Captain Marvel until Captain Marvel copyrighted Captain Marvel. <laughs> okay, bye. Uh, I have been Ace, keep one up your sleeve. Keep it weird. I'm Batman! I'm a man. <laughs>